it's been a day it's been a day and a half i was to come on here and just tell you guys or rather share with you guys why i am oh this light is not nice but oh well discuss with you guys just not discuss but share with you guys pretty much just why i'm back on youtube and um why i've um taken a little step back from my thrifting services right so here's one thing that a lot of people don't understand right like when you working with god and you're submitted to god your life essentially is not yours <laughs> anymore and um you know a lot of times he'll give you instructions and you know because he's in control of your life and your purpose is to serve his will not so much your will right and for a few weeks i started feeling unsettled and just really desiring to be back on youtube okay and a lot of times that's how god speaks to us you know we have a desire when you're connected to him and your spirit is in him and i mean his spirit is in you and your spirit and his become one right so what his spirit the desires of you becomes the desire of your spirit which is in you and if your spirit is in control of your human self which means of your soul and your body then what your spirit wants automatically becomes what your soul wants and what your body um strives to do i hope i'm clear on that just rewind if you don't get it maybe listen to it once or twice i mean twice or three times but um yeah so i just started really feeling like i need to be back on youtube i need to be back on youtube i'm like i don't really have the time because when i'm thrifting my thrifting days my sourcing days are like begin around 4 30 so i would wake up 4 30 spend some time with god and then uh off to the market i'm at the market by around 6 30 and i literally am on the go and not stopping until about 8 39 right so you can see like my whole day is occupied i literally cannot do anything else right so i was like i don't have time you know to be on youtube and create content and all of that and he said he remind and and he reminded me that i'm here to serve his purpose not my own and it's not about bills it's not about money because i'm not gonna lie i'm making like really good money off of thrifting and for example like in the last quarter i'll just give you figures just so you understand that it does take sacrifice and obedience is never going to be easy okay so i was making last quarter not this quarter but the quarter of last end of last year because I feel like this one I have been away for a month so I haven't really put numbers together but last quarter I was making on average easily a hundred thousand a week okay so I'll tell you about how that even happened but in another video because that is also just God's doing it was not by myself it was just grace and favor and um, yeah so now him saying to leave all this and the instruction to put that on hold and essentially cut off my income by maybe like a good 80 percent to do youtube which won't essentially pay me in that sense of the word you know it's a big risk it's an instruction that needs total surrender to be able to obey to to be able to obey okay and i had just moved to a new place where my rent is i think more than double what i was paying before so it's never ever gonna make sense this is literally the worst time that i can cut off or that i can you know reduce my hustle if you know what i mean but he says we do something and we do it and then you know when i finally submitted and then he is so good and kind and loving and he wants you to know that hey you're gonna be okay because you know i was thinking oh my goodness but i need to be able to pay rent i need you know you're just thinking about all these needs that you know need to be taken care of and i am the number one champion of saying that if there's certain things if there's something that i will never ever pray for it's rent food clothing because i know 
not just out of faith but out of experience i know that those are his responsibilities not mine even if i do not work for six months straight i will never not have rent you know that's how that's just how it is because he's my dad that's that's his job that's his department his needs are my department my basic needs are sorry my basic needs are his department everything about me is for him to take care of i'm his child you know so it was just sort of like okay so am i trying to say that god has a limit as to how much is gonna take care of me it's gonna take care of me if my needs are below this certain amount of money or is he you know God God Almighty what is a few thousands to him you know what I mean so I had to be like okay Lord whatever you want me to do I will do it and it does not make any sense it's not gonna make any sense to anybody but if you want me to cut down on my hustle to focus on YouTube and creating content and just sharing you and how to, you know, the assignment that he gave me, then that's what I will do. <laughs> Let whatever wants to happen, happen. And so basically, here we are. And I'm telling you guys this so that moving forward, you can know that it is not about taking care of yourself. It is not about making sure all your ducks are in a row or that you have everything you need before you can obey God. Uh -uh. The way God works is he gives you an instruction and you do it and everything you need follows that. Your sustenance comes after your obedience, not before. We don't obey because, okay, now we are good. We obey because he said or he's sending us to do something. And that's just how it operates. So here I am new place bigger place much bigger place um cut down on like 80 percent of my hustle because now i'm only selling stuff once a week as opposed to four times a week <laughs> ah, i cannot tell you how things are gonna go because i don't know but um i just know that mine is to trust and man needs to do what he wants me to do and he takes care of the rest and that's just pretty much it so you guys get to watch how everything falls rather you guys get to watch how everything pans out you get a front row seat to what walking in faith and walking with god looks like because don't be fooled it's never going to be easy and if you really want to experience god and enjoy god and just be at a place where you have everything you need and you're not just working for god but you're working with him for his agendas and his purposes your partners if i can call it that you know and it's a beautiful 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 journey it's a beautiful experience and you guys will get to see it so yeah um i am just my friend came over I made a nice chicken salad we just hang out and um my afternoon meeting went to great <sighs> i was actually feeling my friend has just left now but i was feeling a bit you know like i just want to have a i just want to take a nap but now once i think of i have to go shower redo my hair because this line was wonky honestly this hair lied to me like my widow's peak so i went like this but i should have gone with my nose and the line was supposed to be around here like can you see that's like a half an inch difference almost so i need to do that and do my skincare have dinner and then i can sleep but i know that once i shower i'll be okay i just need to shower but then i want to take like a short nap maybe like a 20 minute nap i think it's about seven oh it's going to eight I'm not cooking. I'm gonna order food from Mama Shanti. I really love their fish. Um, their stewed fish. Ugh, mm. The sauce that they put on it is just, I love it. So I'm gonna have that. Actually, I can order, ugh, but I'm, mm. yeah, I'm gonna have that. <sighs> and I will see you guys tomorrow. If you have any questions, just please, my comments are open. Let's chat. Let's discuss. I'm here to help you guys learn how to work with God. And if you have any queries, then I'm your girl, right? Because being a Christian, it's not just about reading your Bible and worship.
you know angels worship all day every day god does not care about our worship like we think he does he enjoys it yeah if it's pure and everything but it's not the essence of being a christian if you know what i mean like once you become a christian then you partner with him for his agenda and he's gonna put you through the ringer but you guys will watch and um yeah i'll see you tomorrow This is um, Thursday morning. I want to do a reel for Instagram. I just want to go back to making, you know, to putting together outfits and um, styling pieces for you and showing you guys how to do stuff. <sighs> yeah, that's what I've been doing. I need to sort out this rack because it is overloaded. Um, I don't have like a proper rod in my closet. So I'm waiting for them to bring me that as well because I put my stuff on it and then I guess my stuff was just too heavy so it just collapsed but it was really flimsy anyway so they're changing that so I need to just fold this stuff get what I'm shooting today iron just have a quick shower and then yeah yeah what else oh yeah you remember when I was talking to you guys last night about you know God being so good with the signs and just giving you confirmation of why of you know confirmation that he is the one telling you to do what you're doing for him so watch this video that I'm gonna put up here and then I don't know if I've already put a few other pieces of confirmation that I got but just so you can understand anyways so that as things happening you know that you know to expect confirmation not all the time but you know it's just nice to get it it's just heartwarming it's just like a you know like a little rub on your back like i've got you my daughter like i've got you my child i've got you my son and yeah so that is what we're doing today no one should ever think you're in need when you're representing me Amen. you don't understand that god increases you according to needs if there is no need god can give you wow. so you minimize the needs you minimize the finances. That's good. That's so good. This I'm telling you honestly before God. And the one who taught me this was my mother. Wow. She always told me, you make a bigger need, God gives a bigger check. Amen. Amen. Be within you, but the more your appetite increases, God makes things... 
God is too big. Also, I am thinking of doing, um, of going, of having like a series, like a 30 days of styling or 60 days of styling i don't know what i can commit to right now but i think let's start with 30 days and then maybe from there then we see how it goes because at first i was thinking of doing 100 days of styling but it's for you guys but can i do it i'm sure i can it is a lot of work i know i've done 30 days before i think that was like a year two years ago i did like a 30 days outfits you know so every single day i was shooting at outfit for you guys and it was amazing it was so much fun and um yeah i just i'm wanting to do it again i have so much new stuff and you know the funny thing is when i was like leaving my relationship then when i was coming to god one of the like not concerns but just one of the thoughts that entered my mind was like oh my gosh how now will i be shopping you know just the little irrelevant things but god, because god knows i love clothes god knows our desires right and a lot of the times our desires are in line with our purpose okay so here we are i have more clothes that i can contain hangers like for example look at this okay so for example yeah look at this because this has not less than 10 skirts this one hanger that's why it's drooping like and then uh, okay this one has one but okay so you can see it's just full every oh every single hanger has multiple things there's no hanger like this has a jean jacket it has a shirt and i think this is a dress it has a dress every hanger has multiple things my leather jacket every single hanger blazers stacked blazer blazer this is a blazer as well what is underneath it also a blazer jacket ah like if there's something that god has given me a lot because he's so good <laughs> it's clothes it's clothes like look at this look at this these are all dresses 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 this is a top from series studio this is a gown a dress this is a dress that happened uh, a dress a dress a dress 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 just clothes everywhere and my cupboard is also like okay so <laughs> now these are my jumpers my cardigans about 80% of them I have a suitcase full of the heavier ones that I still need to unpack jeans i don't have too many these are shorts these are jeans these are just leggings and whatever these are tops 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 t-shirts my nightwear pants i have a lot of pants so there's this stack in front and then there's another stack all the way at the back those are my knitted pieces my dresses my skirts and um yeah and then this is where I'm going. Oh, there's some more clothes here as well. These are some more clothes, dresses, ah, dresses, skirts. So now this is what needs to be replaced. So I'm waiting for that to be done so that I can move things from the rack to the closet. But yeah, otherwise I'm just putting a few things there. And yeah, that's where we are at. Currently, I'm still arranging um, everything. I've said I'm not gonna rush because there's just so much to do. <laughs> I don't like pressure. See, it's my house. <laughs> See, eventually it will be done. But yeah, um, let me put out, let me put outfits together, and then we can.
um, about uh, sorry, my cleaner's daughter is watching TV there, but I am about to finish up with my um, reel. I think I just need to powder my face if I can find powder. Where are you? I didn't really prime well, I guess, but um, yeah. This is going to be so much fun, like I'm really excited for this reel. <sighs> I don't know, it just feels like it's been so long since I like shot a styling video. Well, it's not just a video, but I'm just doing um, black versus color. And I don't know, I'm enjoying myself. It's been a long time since I wore my clothes other than, you know, like the basics. So. By the time this video is going up, the reel will already be up. So go show me some love on Instagram. I really appreciate it. Comment which outfit you like. This is one of them. But um, yeah, just go say something nice. Thank you. You invited me out to lunch and you're making me go Dutch. You can make what? You look so cute. You can't what? You got a swimming pool. So you stand sideways so we can know for sure. And then don't suck in. And then and they, and they hold the bottom under your belly. No, yes. <laughs> Tell me how happy you are to see me. Hmm? You know, it doesn't seem like it now. No, it was a black thing. What did you think I was doing? Why would I be touching your face? Okay, honestly. Yes. I have a Here. What do I need? That's what she said, Mama Sonny didn't notice my hair. Mm. Gong, your hair is so nice. <laughs> She's representing, she doesn't like the compliments, I know. That's for you. Oh, you're like a princess. Princess Gong. What does she like to be called? Unicorn. So, what is it today? You look like a unicorn. Wow, even your even her top is a unicorn. Hmm. Kids. Nikazi. 
Oh yeah, we we're discussing this. Can I just put it in my bag? Don't put it. You want to leave me without sanitizer and I have a child. I'll bring you that detol. Um, in fact, I don't know why I didn't carry it. So it's not sexually moisturized. Can you refill it? Oh, yeah, I can. Yeah, but you're in a safe. Yeah? I can do it. I think I have one more. So give me the full one. I just opened this one. Okay. You want to touch the How water? How cute is this sanitizer? Okay. Just don't fall in. I was saying I was looking for a child from this place. Yes, come to me. Backfire so badly on you. Sonia has made time for her. Mm. Mm. Yeah. When she was in need. <laughs> Don't worry, status quo returns to her. No, no, no. I bumped you off her. So I bumped her off. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She's sad. Ask her, are you sure? <laughs> she actually got low. Yeah. And you love matters. And you love matters. I think her face just fell. I think I want to end this vlog here just so that I can have time to edit it tomorrow for it to be up on Saturday um it's not much it's just pretty much like a reintroduction to YouTube so I'm just you know welcoming myself back to the YouTube space but um yeah I thought you know what let me just come and say goodbye I am um, I have just come from having the best ice cream I've had this month <laughs> because nothing beats snow cream but I've just had ice cream from Java I think I'll put it here I think I have a clip and yeah I've just come making dinner now I'll show you guys I'm just going to make some chicken stew this is um, chili over the top I'm still just boiling it um yeah my help made um chapati so that's what's for dinner um but yeah i don't know i think i'm just happy to be back i know it's been a long time coming and i know i've been the going and coming back type of youtuber but that's okay i think i'm here to stay i hope i'm here to stay now because it is not by my will well that's for sure that's for sure but i'm um, yeah see we see how it goes i'm still really really looking forward to joining a gym because i have goals that i have to meet by before august before my birthday and i don't know this year i think i'm just determined because I keep saying that yo like I want to have I want to get back to being as toned as I was a few years ago and I was on top of my fitness game and I believe that if I find a gym that's close to me because I love weights weights really just snatch me up in a short period of time as opposed to 
just you know like home workouts and cardio and stuff i don't know i just really really love weights Wait, is what i'm saying i love weights so i'm going to check out um one or two gyms tomorrow in my area just to see what my options are and hopefully both of them that i'm interested in i hope they have like you know good classes with good trainers because i need someone that um as you're working out i'm the kind of person that if i have someone that is pushing me do it and does not allow me to stop then i go in hard but if i'm like just on my own then i stop when i'm tired instead of stopping when i'm done so that's pretty much what i think i'm going to do tomorrow morning and then i start editing this vlog and um yeah <laughs> Thank you guys for being patient with me. I know a lot of people have really wanted me to be back on YouTube and I am back and um, yeah, I'm excited. So I will edit this one and then I will start another vlog probably on, what am I doing on Saturday? It depends if I'm doing anything interesting over the weekend. This is my classes. Let me show you how guys, I, I was hunting, I was hunting, I was hunting and then I entered the junction and then I felt like, wait, why am I wearing this? because i was home and then it was just an impromptu decision to go to junction so my brown was out not that i mind but it's a nice little neck i like it it's cozy but um oh i'm feeling nice and i'm wearing let me see what i'm wearing down here i'm wearing leather pants that have come all the way down if you wear leather pants you understand the struggle you see like from this angle i look slim i'm not i'm not i haven't been on a scale in a very long time but i have an idea of my range and i'm not happy with it i have like kikuyu arms and i don't have to have kikuyu arms like hi like look at all that flap Okay, so I'm doing like a lot of, but still, dude, I'm only 32. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. And I've been eating quite okay. Um, I've cut off, I've cut out my snacks to only weekends for the most part, or if I'm really wanting to snack on something i have where are you if i'm really wanting to snack on something then i have this so this is sweet chili then i also have barbecue something but i have another different flavor that i also really really like and I think this comes to like 150 something calories per bag. So I really, really like it. And actually really nice. They just, mm, they satisfy the craving. And then, let me show you guys. Like the house is full of um, fruits, just in case I feel peckish. So I have apples, I have bananas, I have avocado. And then in my fridge, lots of grapes lots of um i have watermelon i have grapes ignore the soda i have grapes i had blueberries did i oh yeah i have um fresh blueberries actually have a lot of grapes my friend brought me grapes the other day and i already had grapes so that's pretty much it and then for yogurt this is the yogurt that i am currently having i like it so my eating habits have greatly improved this past few weeks i haven't only been eating um a lot of junk and um this is my weakness though plantain because i buy four large plantain for 100 shillings in the market so i just honestly can't resist because it's such a good deal 
so literally four big plantain for a hundred <laughs> is it a hundred or two hundred for a hundred yeah four big plantain for hundred shillings so sometimes I'll be like for four hundred and that can keep me for like two weeks because I just love plantain gym I'll put up like a working out vlog let me first find a gym and then I think for next week's vlog I'll start it tomorrow just so I can carry you guys along with me because guys time is running out before you know it the year is going to be over all the goals we had at the beginning of the year will not be smashed which will suck and will be like every other single year and 2022 was supposed to be different you know so it's only the first quarter gone we still have two more quarters so I think I think we still have time we're playing it dangerously late but we still have time we still have time so yeah let me make my dinner I'm having this chicken and I'm having chapati I'm not having greens because I do not have greens in my house for some reason but I'm going to now get used to buying greens yeah um, see you guys later and if I don't hope you enjoy this vlog comment say something nice to me down below let's just interact if you don't follow follow please remember to share and subscribe and remember the sharing is just so that other people can also you know just get something because i know that vlogging is you know supposed to be entertainment on and whatnot but i don't know i just know that i need to impact a few of the things that i have learned in the course of this few years that i've been working with god and he's been teaching me and growing me in his ways and all of that stuff okay this needs to come out but yeah, just, you know, if you love someone and you want them to be good, just share the video. See you guys later.